Hey beautifuls! So today I am giving you guys the first of many closet declutter videos because as you guys know or if you're new to my channel, welcome, hi, subscribe if you'd like to join the weird beauty crew because we're all fucking weird here and I'm an alien. But for my existing subscribers already know I'm getting married next year and I will not be living here anymore and honestly as you can see from the background I have a lot of shit and now that I've gotten older being 24 like I realize I don't need a lot of shit. Like in high school we were like oh my god like all about having things and all about getting the new things and I do have a shopping problem I do admit it and it has gotten a lot better within the last few years or so I still love the shop that's me and especially for makeup because uh, obviously this is a beauty lifestyle random channel not sure but I wanted to share this whole process with you guys because I got a lot of good feedback on my makeup decluttering video so with that all being said if you guys want to see me declutter my closet then just keep watching and I will say for the record this is gonna be the first of many videos I'm not going through the entire closet today mainly I think we're just gonna focus on the clothes right here right in the front because I have so many that I'm not wearing they're just sitting there that have that I bought and wear once I have a really bad habit with clothes where I literally buy something I wear it one time and then it just sits in the closet and I never wear it again and then I'm like oh I don't wear this and then I get rid of it a lot of my clothes when I do clean out my closet which is pretty much every couple months or so I will either give to my sister or my mom or I will donate I used to do Poshmark and Mercari I'm not doing them anymore because honestly I don't have time to do the pain in the ass and I just I don't really have time for that right now so uh, with that all being said if you guys want to see the first of many declutter videos then just keep watching and let's just get started I also want to say I'm sorry that the camera is like really far away this is the only place that I could put like my little tripod and like my little camera setup so I will fix this in iMovie later and just focus on the closet so you guys won't see this entire background so I guess we should just kind of start right here with the purses this I bought and I have never ever used so I am getting rid of this I bought it with the intentions of using it and then I never did this one my mom gave to me and I haven't used it yet but I want to use it when I go out so that's staying I actually just got rid of a lot of my crossbody bags so these are kind of what's left over I have this pink one which also from Victoria's Secret with spikes on it and then I have my other one which is my favorite from pink that I got quite a few years ago it is really really awesome it's just a nice little drawstring bag <gasps> I'm not kidding when I said this is a lot of shit like a lot oh my gosh I think we might start in the front because I can't get back there <laughs> oh Sam problem by the way if you guys are wondering about that mystery balloon it's still here and still alive and it made its way into my closet the other day what are you doing guys do you see this okay so starting off my closet right here the first hanger is filled with my like sexy lingerie kind of thing so I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of any of this because I do still wear it. these are all like the fun things that you know you wear for your man or wear for your partner or whatever I really really love all of these I have like some lacy ones I got from Walmart I got some from uh, rainbow and from Victoria's Secret and they're all just like really cute so these are all staying because I do wear them next I have some newer clothes that I have worn and stuff that I have not worn yet so you guys know I wore this for my engagement pictures you guys will see those soon so that's staying and then I have this little crappie top flannel shirt which still has a tag on it because I haven't had a chance to wear it yet so this is staying next we have one of these weird funky shirts that are kind of all the rage I got this from Walmart and I did try to wear it once but it just didn't go with my outfit so I didn't wear it but it's really really cute it's all black and it's long and flowy so I think this will be better for like the fall but I'm still keeping it because I again haven't really worn it yet the next we go through tank tops these are all of my Halloween tank tops they're new to my channel my subbies already know I'm obsessed with Halloween it's my favorite holiday horror movies aliens UFOs all that kind of stuff like that's my shit by the way I'm sorry about my outfit this is a bodysuit and like little shorts because we're chill right now we're chill doing this video I really love Halloween so I have all these tank tops from pink that I love to wear this one is just skeleton hands so that is staying the one underneath just says basic witches I've worn that and then there's one on the other side that's here for the booze which is just really really cute and then I have one from Target which says if you got it haunt it which is just really really adorable so these are all staying because I do wear these around Halloween and in general because they're just really really adorable so as for my next hanger these are all of my black tank tops like there's like a massive amount of them on here so we're just gonna go through them pretty quickly the first is Harley Quinn tank top I just got so that is staying this alien tank top I love so much my mom got it for me from Hot Topic so this is relatively new and I am keeping it because uh, those are my friends and it's hollow dream catcher one which is so adorable I have not worn it in a while though which is really sad so 
I'm gonna keep it just because I haven't worn it and I really want to wear it. So next we have just one of these high tank tank tops. I really like to wear these when I will work out or just in general. It's just black and it's got a high neck right there and the arms are really big so it's just nice and flowy for the summertime so that is staying. Next I have like this cover up dress thing that I really really like. I got it from Target recently. It's just really really cute. You just throw on over your bathing suit but I actually wore it as a regular tank top and tied it up so this is staying. This one on here I got last year. This is just a really huge tank top from Express. I think I paid like three four dollars for it on clearance like such a good deal and it's just a star on there but it's really really big. It has like this big like piece in the back that like covers my butt which is kind of nice but kind of weird at the same time so I'm a little undecisive about that one so we'll think about it. When you have a ton of crap in your room and you're just stepping all over it me. So if you guys are wondering how I do like my tank tops I usually put like all the same colors. My closet is mainly color coordinated when it comes to like my tank tops like I have like all the same colors on one hanger and that's not because like I don't have hangers but it's just to kind of save space and I feel like it works a lot better for me but if you have like graphic tanks like this especially since these are all black tank tops I like to kind of put them on the hanger where the graphic is facing out so I can see which one it is sometimes it doesn't always work though just so I can see so if I want to wear it next time I have a good idea of what tank it is so next we have my white tank tops now granted some of them are in the laundry so like I have a plain one I think I have another one in there I'm not sure but so there's only a couple on here but the first is this Victoria's Secret pink 4th of July kind of tank and it's just palm trees and I love this top because it's just so subtle like it's like 4th of July like Americana but it's still like summery and cute so you could always wear it all summer so I'm keeping this and then this is my Marilyn Monroe tank top I love it so much but it just fits really weird on me like this is some weird kind of meshy material and I've been debating for a while if I'm gonna get rid of it so I think I am gonna pass it along because I'm just not wearing it and it's just kind of sitting in my closet next we have a tube top this is staying because it's pretty much the only one of the only tube tops that I own and then next we have one of these flannel tank tops I was obsessed with these last year again guys that have guys that have been subscribed to me know like these were my shit but this is the only color that I actually liked I had the black and white one and the red and uh I think it was just red and black but I gave those to my mom because I just wasn't wearing them they're just sitting and this is probably my favorite color and style out of all of them it has a cute little gray hood in the back and the material is really soft so this is staying next we are on to gray gray tank tops so again not all of my tank tops and all my clothes are in the closet some of them are dirty they have to be washed some are packed right now so first is this Victoria's Secret pink tank top that I really like to wear I usually wear this either to bed or I'll just wear it to throw on if I'm going to the store or something so this is staying with me and then next we have these tanks I think I got this last summer at TJ Maxx or something and it just says stay positive be happy live free which is like my life motto and I really love this tank because it's really comfortable so that is also gonna stay with me and then this next one is says positive vibes I got from Target recently so I bet you could still find this one and and it is just so so cute and it's literally me because like positive vibes yeah so that's also staying and then the last one is just another high neck tank top from Victoria's Secret so that's also gonna stay with me See, I'll be the first to admit I have an addiction to like tank tops and t-shirts if they're like really cute and like they speak to me like I will buy them but after a while I'm just kind of like mm, like I don't kind of wish I didn't buy this but stuff that says like positive vibes and like it's kind of plainish as you guys can see like I really like plain clothes now too like I love like what I'm wearing right now but I like a lot of like plain not a lot of pattern kind of stuff unless I can really pair it with a lot of outfits so next we have like my blue hanger so I just have this purple tank top from pink and then I have this one that says I can't adult today which is relatively new and then the last one just says I can't even because like that's my life like I can't even so I'm gonna keep all of these because they're just really really cute and I can definitely wear them in the summer and wear them all the time next this is the pink hanger and everything on it including the hanger is pink so of course you guys know I have my graduation tank top from pink that is staying for next year and then after that I'm gonna pass it along to my sister because I, I can't picture myself wearing a graduation tank top when I'm like 30 I'm sorry and then I have oh they're all like tangled up here and this one says good times and tan lines so I still wear that one and then we have here this one that says runs on coffee I just recently got so that's also going to stay and then oh oldie but a goodie you guys on Wednesdays we wear pink I just really love to wear these tank tops so I'm gonna definitely probably be keeping a lot of them the next we have one from the Squamikids I love destination clothes as you guys know so 
So the Squamky Beach on that, that is also going to stay. I feel like this is kind of a fail video right now because I'm not really getting rid of much. But I feel like mostly it's going to be the t-shirts and the sweatshirts because I just have a lot. And then we have this one from Victoria's Secret. Very simple, very cute. Just has a heart on it. And then the last one is from Old Orchard Beach, Maine. I'm definitely keeping all of these because, again, same reasons. And they're just, I can't part with any of them because I do wear all of them. Okay, so next we are going to go through the t-shirt section. And then I think I'm going to cut this video off because I just don't want it to be so so long and then in the next a few weeks we will go through my long sleeves and everything else or maybe we'll just do my long sleeve shirts and then we will do sweatshirts and sweaters and all that kind of stuff in another video i kind of want this to be a split up kind of series on my channel i don't want it to just be like a one and done like two or three videos and that's it just because i want to take you guys along like the journey of me like getting rid of shit but i know a lot of people love these videos because they just like to see what you're getting rid of and why and all that kind of stuff can i see all that kind of stuff all that kind of stuff all that kind of stuff can i say that again no can I say it again? Kill the kind of stuff. So first we have this t-shirt says, if it's snowing, I'm not going. And this is definitely my life in the winter. So I'm going to keep that. Next we have like my, I call this like my main shirt because I got this from Target and it just has like little pine trees and trees all over it. And it's so, so cute. And I just really like to wear t-shirts when I'm running errands and I'm wearing leggings and flip flops or something like that, even in like this fall and the summertime. So I'm keeping this, this shirt, which I'm not sure why I bought it. I think I wore it one time and that was it. I got it from Cabela's and it says, I will never make excuses for who I am and I really liked that saying but then I didn't realize it said I'm a hunter a bone collector and I'm not against hunting because I have people in my family that hunt and stuff like that so um, obviously I lived in Maine like I'm used to that like it's a common thing I don't really judge like I don't care do what you gotta do for me I don't think I wear this enough so this is gonna be passed along the one that says don't go bake in my heart which i just think is really cute so i'm gonna ki still keep that i actually just got this shirt back from david's house because i had some clothes over there so i do want to wear this shirt it's from no boundaries from walmart i had this like in high school high school i am gonna keep it for now because i do want to wear it and see how it goes and if it fits weird on me then i'll just put it in my giveaway pile that's something else that i do i want to point out i like to if i'm like putting on a shirt and i'm noticing like it's shrunk or like it just doesn't fit me right anymore or whatever the case i will just i will just put it in the giveaway pile because there, there's no reason for me to keep it if it's too small in me we have i am so done need i say more that's staying then i have this baby pink and polka dotted t-shirt from target I'm definitely keeping these because i love wearing t-shirts when i'm just like lazing around and then we have this sequin hollow is it going to pick up the hollow hollow probably not but i can see it and it's so cute and i've had this one for years so this is definitely going to stay with me this is me so i recently bought this shirt and it says 50 percent nope and 50 percent never and it is kind of small on me so I think I'm still going to keep it for now and if I get sick of it then I'll just give it away so you guys might see that again in another video squad goals this is staying literally I always joke all the time I'm the alien David is the skull Nate is the pizza and Danielle's the cat so like squad goals yes that's staying and this shirt I just recently got so this is not going anywhere this is actually a really comfortable shirt I really loved wearing this to bed so it's probably really awesome for the summertime as well and I don't really want to put on camera because it says my school name on it but I just recently got this at my grad expo and it says my school alumni class of 2017 because i just graduated with my associate degree so that is definitely staying because we got to show that off for a little while longer <laughs> then we have hashtag blessed which is definitely staying this one i just recently got and again it reminds me of maine in the next maybe seven eight years or so david and i are going to move up to maine so i just you know maine's my home i love maine he loves maine too and i'm very happy that David likes it as much as I do and that he would want to live there because that's honestly all I really want in life besides being a wife and a mother is to live back up there. So next we have this shirt which I did buy this one for when I worked at Bright Horizons just to like throw on in case my other shirts were dirty or whatever the case may be but I really like this shirt. I love how flowy it is and everything but it is see-through so I think I'm gonna pass this one along. You guys know I'm like the see-through queen like half my clothes are see-through. It's a problem. I know. So next I have this shirt from Forever 21. It says too tired to function and it's really Really cute but it's just a little bit short on me so I kind of have to wear it like as a crop top or tie it up or something this one is also see-through but I just got it so that's my justification for that suicide squad because you guys know I love Harley Quinn I love suicide squad that movie was life to me I know a lot of people hated it I'm so excited for them to give Harley her own movie like I'm literally dying I'm so excited my Halsey shirt Halsey is pretty much like one of my favorite artists along with bleachers breathe Carolina of course Britney Spears since I was like seven years old but I absolutely love Halsey so when I was at Hot Topic I had to get this shirt so 
Oh, and her album is Life. It gives me life. It's amazing. Highly recommend you check it out. I have this pink shirt, which I do wear quite often as well. This one I'm definitely never getting rid of. This is my Landshark Surf Shack Atlantic City shirt when David and I went to New Jersey, so that is staying. I wear that quite a lot. And then I just have this plain shirt from Pink, just says Pink on it, that I like to wear. Oh, here we go. So this is another one of those shirts that I just said is see-through, so this one's gonna go. Rip and Dip, my alien shirt. I named him Frankfurt, and I don't care. And underneath, he's giving y'all the finger. Frankfurt, that's not nice. Stop that. And the next, we have another alien shirt that I got for Christmas, because my mom knows how much I love aliens. Like, you guys know. Aliens are life, I'm an alien. An Elfie shirt that I have worn for Christmas, so I'm gonna keep this just cause for like Christmas time and stuff. If you guys saw, I have like a couple like holiday-ish shirts, like the Don't Go Bake In My Heart one, Snowing one, those are for like winter time. This is Christmassy. Four for you, Glen Coco, you go, Glen Coco. I got this from Target, and this is staying just cause it's nice and loose and flowy, and I really, really like it a lot. Oh, this is so sad because I'm not blonde anymore, but here's my Tana Mojo shirt. It says uh, Bleach and Tone which I really like. I just hate that it's see-through, but this costs a lot of money. Tana be racking up them bills, okay? So I'm gonna be keeping that, and I am gonna wear it anyway, so whatever. I have a hot pink t-shirt that I got from Michaels years ago, and I was like, oh my God, this is like everything. So I still wear this, so it's staying. And the next one, it says, too much dreaming is never a bad thing, which I love this quote. I don't really wear this shirt enough though, and every time I do, it kind of like, I don't know. This one's been sitting in my closet, so I think I'm gonna part with it. Then we have a blue t-shirt, which is really, really pretty, and I love to wear the v-neck you guys will probably see more of them and then this one i really love even though it's kind of small on me at the moment it says don't believe everything you think anxiety depression like don't believe everything you think it's a life motto that i just i love just to wear clothes that like say positive things because it just it makes me happy this is the infamous to-do list absolutely nothing so this is definitely saying because I wish my life was like that every day. Then I have this old spring break MTV shirt. This is actually a guy's shirt I got at Bob's stores. I'm definitely keeping it because it's just really, really cute and it's fitted on me. And I, so that is it for all of my t-shirts. I did get rid of a few as you guys saw, but I'm not really thrilled with like the fact that I kind of held on to a lot. I don't know, I'm just weird like that. I feel like a lot of my clutter is in these shelves. So I think another video we will go through this another video do my crop tops and everything else like I said this is gonna be probably like a year-long thing but I just want to again just start the process and show you guys me getting rid of stuff because again I got a lot of stuff so yeah that is pretty much me getting going through my t-shirts and my tank tops to what I want to keep and what I am giving away for certain reasons so I hope maybe at the end I'll do another one of these videos and it'll be like a really long video and I'll just go through the whole closet one more time get rid of some last-minute things I love you guys so much hope you've an awesome day have a really fucking awesome on Friday and be safe this weekend. It's 4th of July weekend, so yay, America. Subscribe <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed and you want to see more closet declutters and declutters in general because this room is going to be revamped. Half of this stuff is going to be gone because I literally do not want to take every single thing in here with me when I move because it's just it's so much you guys like it's incredible how much stuff I have and each year I get rid of so much stuff but I really want you guys to see how I go through stuff and that it's okay to part with things like it's totally fine it's just very hard for me because I'm like oh but I really like this shirt oh but I didn't oh but I don't wear it so there's that but yeah I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye yeah just it's just another Friday. Just another manic Friday. Okay, we're not going to do that. I'll see you guys next week. Have a very safe weekend. Don't do anything crazy. Be careful with those fucking fireworks. Please! So many people blow their heads off, their fingers off, their hands off. Please be careful, honestly. And if you are under the age of 18, please don't fuck with fireworks. Please just don't. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. It seems like a fun time. Don't do it, okay? Let an adult handle that. An adult that actually knows what they're doing. Notice I said an adult that knows what they're doing because me, I would, I can't, I can't light fireworks. There's just no way. <laughs> but I love you guys and I'll see you next week.